Does your island look like this? Well, a lot of people's do. Hey Bob's gang, although Animal Crossing New Horizons had a lot of really great quality of life updates that improved the game, one thing that I feel like quite a few people would agree with me on is that flowers would definitely not improve this time around. The fact of the matter is, flowers are much more difficult to dispose of in this version of the game. This is an even bigger problem when they can multiply and practically take over. We've all seen this, we've all had it happen, our island's taken over by flowers. Back in the old Animal Crossing games, weeds were the things that would take over, but it's changed this time. If you want to get rid of flowers that have taken over your island, it's much more difficult thanks to these quality of life changes. Instead of just running them over like you could in the past games, now you'd have to actually dig them up one by one if you want to get rid of them. I do get that some people probably like this because they didn't want their flowers to be too easily destroyed by visitors who may have been careless, but for me, I'm not a big fan. With all of this information in mind, one simple action you take could really affect your island, with flowers taking over practically every corner of it. This would be if you were to head into Resident Services and set your island ordinance as the Beautiful Ordinance. Now, if you love the plants and greenery of your island, this might sound great, but it could overwhelm you. Take a look at this player, for example, whose island has been absolutely overwhelmed with flowers, especially if you time travel as well. It could really ruin your island in some ways. Of course, you can fix this, you can dig them all up, but it's such a slow and arduous process in this Animal Crossing game that getting rid of hundreds and hundreds of flowers at once could be a pretty big task. It means that if you want to work on your island and decorate, you'll have to take a lot of time going through all of the flowers that have taken over. In a way, it's kind of like the slowness of flattening your island if that's something you've ever done. It takes a long time and it's not really a fun task, but it's necessary if you want to decorate in certain ways. Maybe ruin is a bit of a strong word, but still, I do feel like this flower feature is a big issue in Animal Crossing New Horizons, making this ordinance not nearly as good as the other ones, which could, for example, make shops open earlier, open later, or even give you more money by selling stuff. I've never really felt like the beautiful ordinance worked that well in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's something that worked really well in Animal Crossing New Leaf, where these issues weren't a thing, but this time around, it definitely feels more like a hindrance. That's why I would definitely recommend that you choose almost any other ordinance except the flower one. Ultimately, it's up to you, it's your island, but that's just my piece of advice if you don't want your island to turn into some kind of flower hellscape. A few tips to help avoid flowers taking over your island would be to surround them with custom patterns. They won't be able to grow beyond those as far as I can tell. You could even use transparent custom patterns as well so people don't get to see that they're blocking the flowers. I have so many of these around my island and honestly it's been a big help. It stopped flowers from multiplying in places I didn't want them to and it's also helped me deal with weeds as well. Just keep in mind that when it rains, that's when you really will see a lot of flowers multiply and take over. Villagers can also water your flowers as well, so they may be contributing to the flower apocalypse. But let me know in the comments section down below, has your island ever been taken over with flowers in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Maybe it still is and you have this problem. What do you think about this ordinance and which one did you choose? If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more.